What's up, Odd Pod Pop Podcasters? I'm back. Thank you so much for not missing me. We've got a crazy episode for you lined up today. We're talking about the Neuralink. We're talking about predators versus influencers. And we're talking about, last but not least, odd questions. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that comment notification bell. And I'll see y'all in the episode. Are we recording? Can we? Are we? <laughs> oh uh, my god, are we recording? Yes, okay. sir. We are back. Bam. <clears throat> I knew that was going to happen. Is that how it goes? Yeah. I saw no, it Don't be Instagram. gay about it. Say something cool. Yeah. I saw, I saw an Instagram reel. Oh, I like that. No. Yeah. We all need, like, rings. <laughs> to Italy. Like, rings with Italy. each other's faces on it. Like, I have mine with Jacob and you. That'd be, Ops. That'd be cute, yeah. That's the merch. That's, you've been thinking about merch. That's true, <coughs> and they have to have actual diamonds on them. It's just expensive. We might not make like a profit off it, but we sell them. All right, first advertisement that we get. First ad, for first uh, ad sponsor. Yeah, ad sponsor. sponsor. Yeah, Blood sponsor. Diamonds. First sponsor. <laughs> this is yeah. sponsored by Blood Diamonds. Yeah, yeah. Are we recording now? Can we start this? Yeah, we've been recording. Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Odd Pop Podcast. I'm back. I'm finally back from Italy. Um. And I'd first like to address uh, all the slander given to me by Nacho. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Go for it. Uh, I'm actually 206. So, Nacho, you can suck a fat one. The bet was 205. The, At the time, was not. he was... It was 10 pounds yeah. lower, and I hit 206. Pull the clip. All right, cocksuckers. Scale is zeroed out. Survey says... 93 kilograms, cocksuckers. There's the clip. But now you have a whole nother goal you have to hit by the end of the year. Another 10. Uh, it's not happening. I'm going to be I'm gonna be frank. Why? Then why did you because, say? Because you know what? 10 pounds before d- the end of December? Because listen, you've already failed and you've already failed. Get the seas on me. Get the seas. How do you say building in Shut Spanish? Shut up, Chinqua. How do you <laughs> <laughs> say it? How do you say building in Spanish? Oh, fuck. That's right. Three episodes ago. I you already forgot. 20 goals. I failed probably two of them. Which was a creepy one to fail. Two of them. Well, Looking like, at in your car is a real, real oh weird God. way of failing one of your goals. I haven't masturbated. And I haven't whatever else I'm doing, dude. I, I signed up for two 5Ks. I have one more to sign up for. I volunteered. Um... Yeah, but I looked at how many out <laughs> in your car. That's you could be put on a sex offender list for that. You know that. But I'm not, and it's cool. You know, I'm not on there. Kyle, what do you think about this? Part of your car is. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. Kyle, get t- out of here. Speaking of sex offenders, Kyle, what's your take? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, no, no. Speaking of sex offenders, uh, what about uh, predators versus influencers? Huh? First, first item on our segment list. Well, really, it's the second, but that that transition That's was fun. way too good. Too yeah, clean. It was, it was way too good because last time y'all were, were were just fucking the transitions. Okay. Um. Ouch. But that's fine. You just des- no. I deserve that. Views have been high versus, since you've been gone. Uh, influencers is crazy right now. Um. Because I remember when YouTube used to be pranks. Uh. It used to be. Well, it's gay people, uh, and then uh. Is there anything else that's happening on YouTube? Let me see. The pranksters, the gay people. I miss the, the days when I could find a nice beheading video on YouTube. A, a pig beheading. A pig. I, I used to watch pigs get pulled apart on YouTube. Right. Mm. It just hasn't been the same since they kicked ISIS off. <laughs> this is insane. Maybe back to the predator stuff. It's a little lighter than ISIS, I feel like. <laughs> you know, if there was like a scale. I wouldn't take ISIS lightly. <laughs> So, back to this, um, how do you guys feel about it? Do you feel like it's a good source of content? Oh, uh, dude, I would love to see, or no, I love seeing predators getting caught on YouTube for clout. I love that. That is fantastic. Okay. Skeeter Gene was doing it for a while, but then he got in trouble or he got kicked off of YouTube. Something happened where he couldn't do it anymore. He got for kicked a off another platform but he's still on youtube because he started calling it cupcakes and he started bleeping everything out so he's safe on youtube mm, yeah because they don't like i'm not gonna say because i don't feel like bleeping it out but you can't say the r word in regards to sexual stuff you can't say the r word you have to say unalive yourself no. instead of other things and then what else can't you say how about half of the st- about half of the stuff that we say on here we cannot say mm-hmm. but we're still in the algo baby 
Yeah, yeah, we're still Speaking of the algorithm, we are up to 87 subscribers. 86, 87? Seven. 87. We started with zero. We've been blowing up. Mid End of December was our first episode. We made it this far. Next week is episode... We'll be filming episode 20 next week. And we're not going to the moon. Tell them where we're going. We're going to Uranus. That's right. Speaking of sex predators. Andy. <laughs> yes. Thank God he's here. Thank God he's here. <laughs> Andy wanted to... Andy I, wanted to um, did you He's been hear having that joke in the bank for two weeks now. That's crazy. That Gideon's first return to Twitch happened. Dude, Gideon's back on Twitch after 800 days being banned. Isn't that crazy? He was banned? Yeah, he was banned. Um, I thought he found catch, God. To catch predators for Jesus. Yeah, he, was, yeah. he, he was, was catching... banned because of the whole Pokemon thing back in the day, but now he's back and his first thing was to catch a predator and he said that um, pretty much his pastor said you're doing God's work. God. Which is pretty insane, but you, you, whatever. I thought it was a hilarious one. He did it with Skeeter G and the OG of catching predators. God, just imagine like one of the CEOs from Twitch gets an email and be like, he's on it again. Like they unbanned him and this is the first thing he does. Kind of like an FU. Because that puts him in a tough spot. He asked Twitch. Really? He asked a rep at Twitch and See, they said and he, they can't say yes, but it doesn't break any terms of service. Exactly. Well, they can't say no. That would make them look so bad. Yeah, be bad people. Yeah. You can do all this stupid shit on Twitch, but you can't like expose predators. Yeah. Would you ever do this? Catch predators? Yeah, why not? I feel like if I say no, I'm a bad person, right? Mm, not a bad person. Would you ever help them? The predator? The predator? Or the- <laughs> Who am I helping? I don't know. Who are yes. You mm, I that's not what I meant. I <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Like finding <laughs> mental health. Finding mental health. You know, making them feel better. Yeah, I help them. It's a disease, man. They're, they're, they're hurt people. They need help. Okay, so the next thing I want to ask. I forgot what I was going to say. My thing was regarding... Um, What's it called? So you asked him if he would ever do it. Yeah. The catch, catch one. Catch predators, yeah. I would, for but content. the thing is what I'm for content, absolutely. But the one thing that I'm scared of, which is why I'm a little skeptical on like these predator videos. Granted, I'm not I haven't seen a lot of them. I'm not going out there just looking at predator videos all day. But has one of them ever had a gun pulling on them? Nothing bad has happened yet. But, but that's what I'm saying. And they're doing it on live streams now, so anything can happen. They can't it's not like they can edit out the bad stuff. Right. Why has no one ever gotten a gun pulled on them? We're in America. Like, a pre- I don't know. Uh, this is a bit of a weird topic to start out with. You, you got to think. A predator isn't a guy that totes a gun, typically. But now yeah. that it's more public that this right. stuff is happening. But still, like, if you're going to go down as a predator, I mean, do you think it's like, oh, I got nothing to lose now. Now I'm going to pull a gun on it. You know you're on camera. So at that point, it's like, I'm just going to screw the rest of my life. Yeah, that's a good take. I respect that. But I, I don't know. I mean, they're probably like when they put their purse in, they're like, the, uh, the predator was carrying a couple of lightsabers, some toys, something to just, you know, appeal to the kids. <laughs> You're a big fan of lightsabers, though, aren't you? Oh. I have four. But no kids. No kids. No kids. No kids. Kids. Yeah. No, kids. <laughs> no, kids. <laughs> no kids. Okay. Well, well, what I wanted to ask about that. Oh, I lost it. Uh, Vit- Vitaly and, and Bradley Martin. Yeah, I love Space Jam, and they caught the guy that wrote and produced Space Jam. And Space Jam was my favorite movie all growing up. And it, nothing's related. But yeah, they caught the. Was this recent? Producer. Yeah. Or okay. It recently no, I mean like happened. recently caught or recently he preded, predated on someone. Who knows how long he's been doing it? That's he's what I'm saying. Famous, yeah. But like, I loved the movie, and you know, I could have been a victim at some point, but I wasn't. You weren't in Space Jam. No, I wish I was. I think you said he was a victim. Yeah. Victim like Drake Bell. Mm, or Kyle, what do you meant in the last episode? About his male teacher. He's a That's fine, but like, it happened. So we gotta acknowledge it. Um. <laughs> anyway, do, do you guys think it's wrong for kids to watch Predators being caught? Nailed it, because a lot of YouTube is children watching, and they don't say the stuff so they don't get age restricted or flagged in videos mm. so that's they like bleep stuff out so it's more viewership being kids i don't I, think it's anything kids need to see i'm holding a lot back right now so i'm not gonna give my take on stuff i just think it's weird 
the whole predator thing kids like that's a really interesting point like kids getting on youtube seeing that i mean it's better than the safety videos that they're watching in school because they're probably still using the one from the 90s now teachers just show them a, titch, a twitch stream well if i'm being honest the way i was introduced to that predators exist like grown men like kids is my mom was like pretty much told me there are some weird freaking adults out there and just don't go up to random strangers because they're weird so I was pretty much told as a kid this is a little different though I guess this is a form of entertainment yeah <clears throat> it's a form of entertainment but I don't know it's no kid is gonna go that look at that and be like huh I want to I want to be predated on now or predatory on on now predated yeah predated on they're gonna be like you know it's different like it is true if you see GTA and stuff they might recreate like some of the weird shit there but no kid is gonna look at that and be like so what group chat do I have to go to you know it's pretty fucked in the head but I feel like if you let your kids watch like <laughs> like shooting videos or whatever like what's a what's a child predator video you know what I'm saying we grew up on a lot worse yeah that's live true. leak live leak e-bombs world What's that one? Grounds? Undergrounds? Newgrounds? Newgrounds. Grounds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Nacho yeah. consumed his porn. <laughs> Speaking of porn, Neuralink. Uh, so, Neuralink Perfect. follow up. Right. Yeah, right. Good. <laughs> that, was like a, that was the last episode. So Speaking like, of Neuralink, technology, technology made cars. Jacob was on his, watching porn in his car, Neuralink. Neuralink, there it is. Perfect. Uh, no, so, no, I, I respect that. <laughs> All right, so a video of someone with Neuralink uh, popped up on the internet the other day. And that was also done with your brain? Yep. <laughs> it's all brain power up there. <laughs> Can you explain a little bit just to people who maybe don't have any context on this field or what's going on here? Yeah. How are you able to actually move the cursor? Yeah, so we started out with a few, trying out a few different things. Um, we basically went from what we call kind of differentiating, like imagined movement versus... Um, attempted movement. So a lot of what we started out with was attempting to move. So I would attempt to move, say, my right hand, left, right, forward, back. to, And um, from there, I think it just became intuitive for me to start imagining the cursor moving. Um, basically, it was like uh, using the force on a <laughs> cursor and I could get it to move wherever I wanted, just stare somewhere in the screen and it would move where I wanted it to, um, which was such a wild experience. And he was using Neuralink to navigate a web browser by literally using his brain. Can you believe that? He was looking at a button and he, and he, and he pressed that button just by thinking about it. And the video showed him playing like chess. You know, That's that wild. would have been making watching porn in my car so much easier. <laughs> We're gonna cut that. We're gonna cut that. <laughs> that was a left turn. I was not okay. expecting from you. That's good. I'm glad you're thinking of that. Ways is, to, that's insane. Yeah. That's wow. Ways to improve your life, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a Neuralink chip. Who, who knows? Well, I mean, I mean, if you did though, right? 85% of Neuralink recipients have already had their wires completely detached. There's like 1,600 wires that connect to different parts of your brain. And for 85% of the people who got the Neuralink, most or some of those wires have already disconnected. Well, no one buys on a purpose. Tesla on the first wave. At least people sign up to do it for free, I think. But then what happens? Like, do you die? Do well, you have a stroke? That well, is movement inside of your brain, even if it's microscopic. Well, hold on. Well, when someone asked if they could remove the Neuralink, the medical team from the company said, they prefer to avoid another brain surgery and instead they would just gather more information. They had to have signed something though. So, oh, absolutely. Yeah, so they signed up for that. Did you fart? No. Do you want to? I did think I fart? heard you. I did not fart. Okay, but do you back want to Neuralink. Oh. Sorry, I'm, trying, I'm not trying to get too much of a tangent. They had to get a stroke or something. Is there any information on the people that did it? Look up obituaries. Let's start looking up. The, well, no, the list is so private. They're not giving out any names. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know. Is that scary? You wouldn't know later down the future people that have neural links in them. And if there is a way of knowing, then you're being tracked. Oh man, can you imagine that surgery? 
Yeah, is that kind of thing? Right? Yeah, right? you have to like saw that thing open. Yeah, and then the circuits come undone, and your doctor says, "I don't feel like it. Uh-huh. It was hard last time. Yeah. I'm from the class of 2020. I did all remote learning. The first time was hard." <laughs> Or, or you wake up from that surgery and you're like, hey, you can see people naked now through your brain. Through the power of AI. Sign and, me up! And cloud computing. <laughs> That's insane. That's wild. I just, oh, we'll see what happens with that. I don't know. When do you think, prediction here, when do y'all think this would be available to the public? Ten years. Ten years? Yeah. No, I was I thinking think maybe I, 15. I think what you're thinking is the same way that Back to the Future thought we would already have flying cars by now. I think this is just a little farther down the road. I don't think it's going to fly like you're thinking it's going to fly. Like, pass through. I guess they have to pass it in, like, Congress or whatever. That's what I was going to say. That's why I have 15. There's going to be so many legalities, litigation behind it. Republicans who don't even know how to use a fucking... Don't know the Red Democrats, people who are just old congressmen. They don't know how to use computers. No, I think by 10 years... The technology is going to move so fast. The legislation is not going to keep up. Just like with, with AI. AI. Technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're going to, like... Find a loophole, find a way to sell it, because it's a recreational item or something. I believe Sell so. it as alcohol. It's, it's going to be a gift, so you're going to buy like a pen, and you're going to get a Neuralink in your brain. Uh, <laughs> as a gift. It's like, alright, here's your fun Neuralink pen, now sit on this table. <laughs> 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 We're going to prop your brain open. But now they're up to crazy shit, who knows. Uh, as long as the fans know, all 86 of you, subscribe. 7, 87. That when you look back 15 years in the future and you're like, oh my god, Neuralink is out, you can say, you know what, the op, uh, the OPP, they were all over this already. They were on top of this the whole time. On top of it. Updates. Right. Mammoth updates, none yet. But we have one more update, speaking of which. Ryan Garcia. Right, so right before we started recording, Ryan Garcia tested positive for Osterina. Osterina. Ostrina? Ost- Ostriches? We're gonna pause this. Osmosis. Osmosis. Reverse osmosis. <laughs> uh, real quick, while I search this up, Andy, word from our from our advertisers. Hey guys, please, please, please follow us on TikTok. We've got like please. We've got like three followers. Sorry. Once we hit fifty, we're gonna send out another twenty bucks, most likely out of Jacob's wallet. Um, please. We've got a lot of fire content out there, and it's a shame no one's watching it. On TikTok. That's right. Nacho has been working overtime. Yeah. And I'm talking about getting laid less. Less than normal. He's giving up booty calls to make content for you guys. Like, Yeah. And it's it's pretty insane that he's doing this. So please, for his sanity, um, so he can get one off, follow the TikTok. Every person that follows the TikTok, he gets one off. Okay. Um, did I write so- that down? No, it's their word for word. It's their <laughs> okay, word cool. for word. Because I wanted to make sure I nailed that perfectly. Um, and we have more advertisements because Nacho's not ready. Um, well, well, actually, you know what? Did you, hear, did you guys hear what D said about Ryan Garcia? Mm. Oh, I did. No, yep. I'm not falling for that. <laughs> Come on. Come on, dude. Do it for the content. I'm looking this up. Just say it. Just All right. It. I found everything. Okay. Uh, what did D say to Ryan Garcia? Uh, uh, D said... No, I don't want to do it anymore. No, come on. Do, 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 it, do it to me. Do it to me. No. Oh, They'll catch you, though. Don't let your guard down. I'll never know. I Did Candace say it also? <laughs> Candace and It's crazy God that I look up Osterine and it's like Osterine for sale. So it's called Osterine. So here's the point. So right before we started recording, Ryan Garcia tested positive after he said that he had taken a test um, for Osterine, which is essentially like a PED. It's a physical enhancement drug. It's literally what it is. Ryan Garcia now has had a really bad day today. The news broke, I kid you not, minutes later, Logan Paul posts on his Instagram uh, the defamation lawsuit that he's filing against Ryan Garcia. Why would he do that? Because Logan Paul has gotten really soft. Because, uh, what's it called? Ryan Garcia trashed oh, Prime. Oh, yeah. He trashed Prime, so he hit him with a defamation lawsuit. Yeah. And it's like Logan Paul now literally, he's turned into that classic entitled boy like my dad's a lawyer because all his threats are I'm gonna sue you I'm gonna sue you I'm gonna sue you like I I don't fuck with that anymore Jake Paul's like I'm just gonna kick your ass Fair. and then you're gonna sue me Jake Paul the better uh, Paul brother well better is lightly used that's right and he is going to earn me $20 soon because he's going to beat Mike Tyson and they're gonna send me $20 I don't think so I think you're pranks around DC in a furry suit Jacob yep Stop. You guys, every episode you guys add something to it. I will wear a furry suit here. 
You can watch the and clip. I have a walk in a- no, you said the podcast. We're doing a public podcast outside. Public podcast in DC. No, I said that's not going to happen. Watch the clip. Trust me. Fine. I've seen every episode. But you have to no, do the intro video that day, and we're going to do it outside in public. That's, that's fine. That's, well, I will go and fr- bring the hottest girl, or I'll go to the hottest girl. We, I'll I don't be know. Like, hey, we have don't you know any. I'm sure we can find one. <laughs> they exist. Trust me. They're out there. Off of school playgrounds? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on. Speaking of school playgrounds. Uh, odd questions. Guys, here's an odd question. Um, Jacob, where do you spend most of your time? School play. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> we'll try that again. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, sh- odd question. Okay. Uh, who would win in uh, rap beef? Lil Dicky or Lonely Island? So I know nothing about Lil Dicky, but I've never let that stop me from having from an opinion on something. But I will defend... The Lonely Island, righteously. You're a little dicky guy. You like little dicky normally. I, I you listen to a playground where you look for little dicky. I I like little dicky. Yes. Okay. Um. Clip it. The Lonely Island is a goaded group. I've never heard of little dicky. Everybody knows the Lonely Island. I've never heard of little never, dicky. I've never heard of. We've literally talked about him in this dicky. podcast. <laughs> literally like four episodes. Yeah, ago, and I dicky. said I still don't know anything about him. I know one song by him, and I can't even tell you the name. I know he's on Dave. It's literally about him. I <laughs> hey, you've about never him. seen an episode or else you know a lot. <laughs> I whenever I just picture Adam Sandler younger with longer hair, and I'm like, okay, that's little Dicky. Same person. I'm gonna vote for same team, but different. I'm voting for the Jew on this one. That's fair. Do you know they have is? a Jew on the Lonely Island? Really? Yeah. How many of them are there? On Three. Lonely Island? Three. Three v one. Huh? Yorma, Andy, and Akiva. I'm gonna have to go for Lonely Island on this one. They made that song, My Dick in a Box. I just had sex. Like the classics I that go around all the none time. None of those top the amount of views that Little Dicky gets. That's such cap. Pull up your Spotify right now and look up Little Dicky. No, we're on YouTube because they do YouTube videos. Specifically, that's how they got If you wanna do YouTube. YouTube, you lose automatically. The Lonely Island is goaded in YouTube. So we'll see, right? All right, we'll see. We'll see. So you do "Jizz in My Pants" or whatever song you want. "Jizz in My Pants" was great. Um, I also like "Threw It on the Ground." Well, first, just go to the Dicky Little Dicky official account. I'll go to the Lonely Island one. All right, guys. We're not doing followers. We're doing. I know, but we'll go to that and then we'll go to views. I feel like we should take all things into account because it's important for people to like, subscribe, and view. It's getting heated. It's getting heated. Little Dicky versus Boom Lonely Island. You're not gonna beat that. (laughs) Beat this. I know. I looked at this. is pretty sad. Yeah, yeah. Seven point two nine million. Seven hundred forty nine million. Wow. Fuck. Not even close. How many followers? Subscribers. That's what I said. Seven hundred uh, seven point two nine million subscribers. That's what I oh, said. Oh, eight point nineteen. Okay, they're but close. Most, All right, popular. I'm gonna look at most popular. Yeah. I just had sex. Three forty five million. Yeah, seven hundred forty nine million. I mean, that, but that's song? the one with Chris Pound. The one by himself is four hundred twenty eight million, and the one before that with Snoop Dogg was two hundred forty five million. The one with Fetty Wap was 189, but yeah, the one by himself that has the most is 428, but that also actually, that might not be fair, because that has every artist ever in it. Justin Bieber is in it. Um, I just had says at Akon, Jack Sparrow with Michael Bolton, Like okay, a Boss. So they do it similar. No, but then it's the first th- the first two have someone else in them. After that, 100, 100, 100, 100, but it's them, 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 Like a Boss, Just in My Pants. Classics. And then Mother Lover. Did you just hear Mother Lover? You heard that song? Because yes. I'm a mother lover. You're a mother lover. We should fuck each other's mothers. Fuck so each I think other's it, I think I think if we go back to it, it's a pretty <clears throat> evenly matched based off like reactions. But I think if they're going back and forth like like Kendrick and Drake did, I think oh I think people would be sice Lonely Island or coming out and doing some shit. I think Lil Dicky wouldn't have the same reaction Lonely Island would have because it's like they're here, they're yeah. getting it. And they drop fire. Yeah, a little dicky, fire. I don't know. We'll see what happens. People would just look at this and be like, we went from the Kendrick Lamar beef to just four white guys angry at each other. Yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> what is this, Congress? Is that, is, <laughs> I love that. Is love that, Congress. Is that fair, though? Like, three people versus one? It's a rap beef, not a fight. In a street fight, they would win. It's three brains versus one brain. Yeah. yeah but Plus, Andy like, Samberg is a big-ass dude. Drake has Ghost Rider, so it's like ten brains Ooh. versus Kendrick. That's true. Uh, speaking of Ten Brains versus Kendrick, uh, have you guys ever had chicken pox? Or been around someone that's had chicken pox? Because that's, that's a fucking odd question. 
<laughs> Whoever came up with that, right. has I looked at that and thought that was a little genius. odd too. It's a little um, odd. I've never had it. I've never had it either. Never been around. But you can get it. it as an adult. Yeah. When they have vaccines though, and you have if to you take that vaccine to go to school. I homeschooled. You also have to take. I it wasn't ahead. vaccinated growing up. Yeah, if you don't have the chicken pox, you get shingles, and it gets really bad. Really? Yeah. You, you didn't. Um, you homeschooled the entire way. No, from second to oh, freshman, eighth grade. That, was that explains a lot. Yeah, and you but, still came, and you came right in there, and all the girls liked you. You had all these Instagram messages. Thank you so much. That's where I got my first girlfriend. I like that. Eighth grade. Eighth this grade. Dude just oh, came yeah. and run. Because yeah, like you know, enough, everyone's always growing up with the same amount of people, and then you imagine this hot stud walking in, Dude, long meat. hair, says, "I'm in a band, heart heart ons, what were they called? Raging Close heart, enough. yeah, yeah, raging hearts. Now pure heart, pure heart, pure heart. Yeah, check them out on Spotify. I don't. It, that doesn't. Is exist. it on Spotify? Please no, tell me. It doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. <laughs> it really doesn't. You won't. You will not find that. But um, you can find me on YouTube in other ways. But we're not going to get into that. Um, I've never had chicken pox. But that's probably because I'm super handsome. I heard about that, yeah. And I have them. You've heard that, and yeah. I have a mullet. Yeah. Um, yeah, because not even t- chicken pox will touch that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Clip it. I'm clipping everything today. Anyways, I've never had it. Unfortunately, I'll get a little personal. Uh, earlier in the fall, in the summer, my mom had it, oh, but she got shingles, God. and she didn't go to the doctor because she thought she had poison ivy. And unfortunately, she's been struggling with a lot of nerve problems like these last like half a year now. She like can't feel her like her feet. She can't feel them anymore. Almost they're swollen. Mm. She's been having to get like shock therapy and stuff. And like she's telling me now, she's like losing a feeling in her hand. Yeah, it's awful. Please get your chicken pox shot, even if you passed it. Shingles is the worst thing, and if you do not catch shingles in time, it will fuck you up. She that can't sucks, ride her bike dude. anymore. Yeah, it sucks. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's rough. Where do you, where does where does one go to contract chicken pox? Do you know? Apparently, playgrounds and schools. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this shit up. I really can't. can't well, do we have any more on questions? Yes. Uh, yeah, we do actually. Let's do it. Uh, which ability would you rather have? Ooh. Okay. Uh, you turn invisible, but every time you turn invisible, you have to scream at the top of your lungs. Or <laughs> you're a shapeshifter, but at the end of your shapeshifting, you turn into an ant and get placed in a New York City. Okay. Jacob wrote this word for word. Yeah, sounds believable. Um, I would do invisible. I would do invisible. And I would just yell crazy shit right before, like, fire! And then just disappear, and everyone's just like, looking around. <laughs> That's a good one. Everyone's like looking around, okay. like, what the fuck? But what about, like, Shapeshifter, right? You could turn into, like, Godzilla, destroy Japan, and then just turn into an ant and run away. Or you... In New York, right? You just teleport. Exactly. But yeah. that's the thing. Don't... Like, ants sacrifice their lives to cross lakes and stuff. Like, what if you're in the middle of that? Stupid ants. It's only for an hour. Yeah, well, I'd be I'm like, not a stupid ant. ant. <laughs> a beta ant. I don't know about this whole queen thing. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to me she's not really... You put her in charge. Yeah. <laughs> Literally your Every time we've been born, we haven't had the chance to get our biggest hill. We've been invaded. New queen re- re- change. <laughs> I do that way too good. King ants. It'll be me. <laughs> Top G ants. Yeah. All right. I don't. I. I or agree I yell. With you. That'd I, be. Oh, sorry. You going? I I agree with you. That would be hilarious. I would. It, like once you turn invisible, you scream. Like just immediately, or you, you scream at the and worst then you time. Turn invisible. Also, I'd get everybody. I'd yell during. And like, huh? Everybody run! And like, I just disappear. I just scared the shit out of people. That way, I can go escape and then, like, you know, roam wherever I am. That's a good one. Or like during, like, when you blow out your birthday candle, I would just disappear. I would scream and then run to the girls' locker room. I mean, that's what everybody was thinking, but I was getting a little creative. That's like, that's where I run ah, to. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> oh that's my insane. god. That's where I'd be going after I turn invisible, yes. No traffic, I cleared everything prior. Yeah. I don't think, I, I'm pretty Christian myself, so I don't think I would do that. Would, what so, would you do? So you turn into a shapeshifter? What would you turn into? If I turn a, into a shape... A swing? <laughs> <sighs> no, I wouldn't turn into a fucking swing, Andy. Let's see. I'm gonna let this die down first. 
I've been fun, funny. Yeah. Welcome back, Andy. It's great to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that actually made me kind of cry. That was funny. Shit. Okay. Like Are you guys done? Up. We're done. Okay. Yeah. We'll cut that out. <laughs> okay. Uh, what would you turn into, Jacob? If you were to shape shift? Nothing. I don't want to play along. <laughs> You sure? Come on. You don't have anything anymore. You're invited. It's no, a I didn't. A show. pair of pants in the Macy's kids <laughs> section. <laughs> they got Toys R Us's at Macy's now. And I know that. All right? They exist. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's do this again. If you were to shapeshift, Jacob, what would you turn into? We picked Invisible. Did you pick Invisible? I did pick Invisible. Yep. Well, we're assuming you'd pick Shapeshift. What I just invisible? don't like the whole ant thing, but if I can be a top G ant, then we'll go with that. If I could Shapeshift into anything, it'd probably be Timothy Chalamet. That's a good one. Dune Timothy two. who? He's Chalamet. I have no idea. You don't know Timothy Chalamet? I haven't watched Dune. Yeah. I'm behind on my movies. But I would have to know where I'd have to go. You know, I'm not going to... If I could shapeshift into anything, it'd probably be somebody that re- super supports uh, like women's rights and stuff. Like Andrew Tate. No. Name one person, he one male who supports women's rights. Dan. Kyle raising his hand. Dan. Uh, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle, the one audience member. There he is. He supports women to the max. That's right. I can appreciate that actually. Uh, but um, is that a wrap? <laughs> It's a great episode, dude. It's a great It's good to have you back. Um, Fuck Italy. I I won't go on the record saying that. Okay, then never. I didn't say it. (laughs) Guys, that's we were pretty stupid today and slow. We apologize. Yeah. Yeah. But nonetheless, thank you for tuning in. I'm sure only five or ten people have made it this far. So I'll make you sure that you motherfuckers see me in the reels. Guys, if you make it this far, leave a comment in the video saying um, Nacho's actually really fat and I'll Venmo you $5. He's promised to Venmo y'all before and it hasn't happened, so I wouldn't go for that. I would. That's not true at all. Uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, be using the notification bell, follow us on TikTok. So no, it's Andy. Twenty bucks. Stop. What, did, what the fuck are you doing? Sit back He's down. He's trapped. Are Sit you back down. Stand up? Don't take that away from him. He doesn't have much. Please. Here. You want me to? No, no, no. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fucking all over. Yeah, well, we were fucked up. We were was all over I was pretty place. drunk right now. Like I'm right. Now. I was pretty <laughs> drunk right now. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> you fucking up your past and present tense. No, I started sobering up like halfway through. Once Kyle left, I lost. I started getting drunk when we started. Yeah. <laughs>